welcome back to my channel. Well, it's Sunday here today, Sunday evening, and uh, it's, sorry about the lighting, it's a little gloomy outside. It's actually a lot gloomy outside, but it's a nice temperature, so it's not so bad. And it's a perfect day to bake. So tonight we're going to make something fairly easy. Uh, I've never made it before, but I think that it's going to be delicious. I'm going to call it chicken and potato bake. And there's not a lot of ingredients, and you just kind of stick it in the oven and go for it. The only thing is, I'm going to use breast. Um, I know a lot of people like thighs, and the recipe probably would be, would be uh, a little better with thighs, actually. I like thighs. I just don't eat them as often. Uh, sometimes the dark meat's a little rich for my stomach, but I do like it. Anyway, so you could use any kind of chicken you like. Chicken legs, chicken thighs, a whole chicken even. But uh, I'm going to make mine bake a little bit quicker, so I've got chicken breast. But anyway, let's get started, and I'll show you all my ingredients. And we're just going to layer in the pan, season every layer like I always do. And it's going to be delicious, and I hope you enjoy the video. I got all my seasonings, but because I have a bad, uh, my, my tripod area is kind of full of all kind of ingredients. So I'm just going to do this real quick right here. But I'm just going to use the seasonings that we prefer, and... Uh, I'm gonna add, this is ground black pepper and I just did that in advance because my pepper grinder, it takes a little while to take take it out of the, uh, grind it out because it, we need a new one. I'm gonna add a little salt and this is just so I won't have to worry about dirtying, keep washing my hands while I'm seasoning the chicken. This is a little thyme. I love a little thyme with my chicken. And you just season to your taste. I'm not gonna measure it exactly, but this is a uh, onion powder I love onion powder. I like a lot of that. And uh, smoked paprika, and it really gives a good color to the chicken, and it's also really tasty. I've really come to really like smoked paprika. It's a little bit more expensive than normal paprika, but it's worth it. This is a little oregano. And you could leave out the ones you don't care for. You can use salt and pepper for that matter. This is a little garlic powder, and I will be using fresh garlic as well. And I'm also going to add just a pinch of this cayenne pepper. Now I could use Cajun seasoning. This is a little, kind of a little bit like Cajun seasoning, but I'm just kind of going to make it up myself. I'm just only going to put just a little, little bit of cayenne. So let's stir this up and see if, also I bought this and it's, it's really good. Uh, but for this recipe, I'm going to, well, actually let's just throw in a little bit of this too. I mean, it won't hurt, right? But you want to be careful with the salt because we're going to add uh, a sauce at the end and it's going to have salt in it. So I'm just going to mix these up. And that should be enough or plenty for the vegetables and the meat. Okay, let me clean this area off and then we'll move to the next potatoes. I cut them up uh, about this size. And I actually have a combination. There's one Yukon gold potato in here that I need to use, and the rest are just uh, your small red potatoes. And then this is uh, two carrots. We're just gonna combine these. And uh, I'm gonna put some fresh garlic in here. And an olive oil. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my seasoning that I made and just sprinkle this in because I really I don't I want my potatoes to have a lot of flavor and I find you have to season potatoes pretty well okay let's stir that around with a spoon make sure they're evenly coated like I said there's not a lot of ingredients and not too many steps and I have my oven preheated to 350 convection if you're using a normal oven, just preheat it to 375. Or you can make it at 350 also. Either one works. Okay, that looks, those look pretty good. So we'll put this to the side. And now, I had bone-in skin on chicken breast, and they were quite large. I like to cut the red meat part off, and uh, we deboned them. And I saved that in a bag for the next time I make chicken stock. But uh, I, I just wanted to do it this way so it cooks faster. This is uh, red onion, yellow onion, poblano pepper, and this is uh, jal jalapeno pepper. And I'm, I'm probably going to just sprinkle a little salt and pepper on those. Let's do that now. Or you could put this 
too, for that matter. I'll just put a little bit of that too. Not too much though. A little pepper. And I was wondering, you know, maybe I should add a little olive oil to this too. Like I said, it's kind of like I cook with me. I don't want too much oil, but I do want them to cook nice and evenly. Because we want to roast them, but not dry. I'll put a little bit more olive oil. And I love olive oil. And this is mostly for flavor. And plus we like to eat the onions and stuff. Okay, now this is the chicken. And what I like to do is take the skin to the side. And I'm going to I'm going to go ahead. I I can contaminate this because I'm not going to use it. I'm only going to use it for this recipe. And I like to sprinkle quite a bit underneath the skin. And then I take the skin and place it back nicely. This one it's a little loose. Ours is a little barely hanging on here. So I'm going to do that with each piece. And you you don't want to take the skin off or pick, poke a hole in it. You just want to kind of make sure the meat is sealed so it doesn't dry out. And you could season to your taste. A lot of people don't like as much seasoning as we do. And sometimes, I'm gonna, not going to lie, I do over-season at times. I get a little overzealous. and So I'm, I try to be careful, though. I didn't add as much salt this time. So salt is the one you have to watch out for the most, I would say. The others, I mean, if it's too much, I don't think there's it's such a thing as too much garlic powder because we love it so much. I'll put that up there and kind of rub it in. So I'm going to do this with every piece and then I'll come back and we'll go to the next step want. to turn your meat over. You definitely want to season both sides. It's very important to season both sides. And these, some of these are thicker than others, but that's okay. See, this one came off, but that's fine. And these have a little bit of seasoning on them already, but I have a little bit left. So I'm just going to take and just sprinkle it around. My hands are getting a little st stuck with seasoning. So I'm trying to spread it out evenly. But I got, it looks like the perfect amount. It's going to be just right. All right, this an empty bowl. Just dump it out. One thing I did forget, I'm gonna put some garlic, just a little bit. Just, you could put it under the skin. But I'm just gonna kind of rub it in. I should have put a little olive oil on my chicken, to be honest with you. But just kind of, I'm just gonna use all of this. And this, these were, this was about probably six cloves of garlic in total. So just kind of, just rub it in on the chicken. You could put sofrito on this chicken, whatever seasonings you like. Okay, let me wash my hands and we're gonna put this it in a pot. good angle. I'm trying to let you see everything, so I apologize if it's not correct, but I'm still learning. But we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some of this in. Now, you do not have to have this many onions. I'm gonna put a little bit of onion at the bottom. And this, uh, I forgot what size skillet this is. It's this pot. It's not really a skillet. It's a pot, but I wanted one with a lot of surface area so I could layer it. You could use a roasting pan, a cast iron pan. Now I'm going to put some hot potatoes and carrots. I'm going to spread these out. This is a 12 inch pot. And I love this pot. Now I'm going to put some more. And we like a lot of onions, as you can tell. I'm just trying to spread them out a little bit. And I'm going to put the chicken on top. And the chicken's going to help flavor the potatoes and the onions. And it might be a little spicy because we added the jalapeno, but it's going to be delicious, I think. Just kind of layer this. And now we're going to put the chicken. I lost my tongs. I did lose them. Here they are. Okay. And I, I totally could have left the bones in. It, it would be just fine. 
and maybe even uh, a little bit more flavorful, but I just wanted it a little lean and a little easy and a little quick, quick recipe. If you had thighs, you probably want to bake it about an hour. And I'm not sure how long this is going to take to bake, but I'll let you guys know. Oh, that's going to see how pretty that is. Okay. Now, I think I am going to drizzle a little olive oil on my chicken. To give it a nice color. And uh, probably in the at the end, I might put a little bit more smoked paprika just for color. So let's put this in the chicken. Oh, wait. Forgot one thing. Now, for a little steaming action and flavor, we're gonna add a little chicken stock to the bottom, and you wanna make sure you don't pour it over your chicken because you'll wash the seasoning away. I'm just gonna pour it until I see it, let's see, at the bottom. It's hard to see because it's pretty full. Actually, I'm gonna pour it on this side now. You could also use water, but I just love using chicken stock. Okay, that should be good. And I'm gonna bake it uncovered. You could probably cover it a little while, but I really want my skin to uh, crisp up a little. So let's put this in the oven. And uh, I'm gonna put this timer on for 35 minutes to begin with. And I cut my potatoes up smaller, so I'm, I'm trying to make the time for the chicken and the potatoes even out. So we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll be the back. Chicken looks like it's been baking about 25 minutes. It's, it's looking good. About 30 minutes and my vegetables are still pretty hard. So I'm going to cook it with the lid on it for about 20 minutes because I want my vegetables to be really soft. Then we'll put the sauce over it and we'll bake it some more. But it's uh it's not too far from being done, but I just want I really want my vegetables to be tender. So I'm going to put it back in the oven with the lid on for about 20 minutes. The potatoes are completely cooked. And uh, there, there's a little bit of liquid in here, but I want to make a, uh, I want to thicken it up a little bit. So I'm going to take a shortcut and let me I'm show you. Take a can of cream of chicken soup. I'm probably not going to use the whole thing, just to add a little richness. And this is pretty salty, so. And I'm going to leave it pretty thick. I'm going to add just a pinch of water so it can pour nicely. But I already have a little liquid in my pot, so. You want to just mix this up, and you could totally leave this out if you wanted to. It's completely fine as it is. I just want to add a little creamy sauce to it. So that looks that looks good enough. So let's move over to delicious chicken. as it is. But we're going to add a little bit of cream of chicken, and look at how pretty the chicken looks. It's so good. It's going to be so good. Like I said, you could use thighs for this. You could, I'm just going to pour a little bit over the chicken. And I like the sauce to thicken up a little bit. And uh, I know there's potatoes in here, but you could even eat this with rice if you wanted to. Or another vegetable. This is kind of like a one pot meal, which makes it very convenient and easy. Now I did bake it for about 45 minutes so far, but I really, I like, we like our potatoes and carrots pretty soft. So I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna give it a little bit more smoked paprika for color. Maybe I should spread it just a pinch. Oh well, I got the wrong utensil, but that's okay. It's getting, we're ready to eat. And you can mix this sauce in as well. I'll just whisk it in just a pinch, but it's so good. It's a, you could also drain some of the liquid if you didn't want it, this much liquid in it. It's, like I said, it's really, I just like to show you how I do it, and then you can totally do it the way you like. I'm just going to add a little bit of this for color and for flavor. It's mostly for color. And I have some parsley outside, but I'm actually going to be too lazy to go get it today because it's dark already. So we're going to add just a little bit of dried parsley for color. And in my seasoning mix, I did add a little thyme. I just love the flavor of thyme when I use chicken stock and chicken and vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the oven for probably only about 10 more minutes and then we'll be ready to taste. It's got a little juice in there, but it's gonna be so good. 
Uh, I cooked it probably total total time was an hour. So we're gonna let it cool a little bit and uh, you could make like a, a side with it. We're just gonna eat this tonight and we'll do a taste test okay, for you. Okay, finally, the taste test. And it's still really hot, but it just, it's, you could add more cream of chicken soup if you wanted to, too. I might wanna add it a little, a little bit, uh, thin it out a little bit more next time I might do that. Let's have a taste and see how the seasonings are. Mmm, I can taste that garlic. Oh, man. And the chicken is not dried out. It's so moist and tender. This is really, really good. And I love just one pot meals, you know. It's so much easier. It took a little bit longer to bake than I thought. But... I would definitely make this again. It's just a comforting, comforting dish. Easy dish, one pot meal. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't for more delicious recipes. And I will see you next time and have a great day. Bye. Bye.